In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of the chart of accounts in Zoho Books. Hey everyone, my name is Stephanie Smith and I'm a Zoho Finance Partner at AIO Bookkeeping. At AIO Bookkeeping, we help business owners do business better by getting their bookkeeping in order and reconnecting them with their business finances. Thanks for joining us on our YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Now let's dive in. So your chart of accounts is essentially the foundation of your bookkeeping software. These accounts are classified into different types, such as income, expense, equity, liability, and assets. And these are the accounts that you categorize your transactions into. So it's really important that your chart of accounts is set up correctly. When you're adding accounts, you're putting them in the right places and the right categories. Um, otherwise, it will impact how your data shows up in your reporting. So I'm gonna give you a little overview of the chart of accounts and um, how to configure them as well. So when you're logged in to your Zoho Books account, if you go to the accountant section, you can see this chart of accounts option. So you click that and this will bring you to your chart of accounts. So just right off the bat, I want to point out that it will populate here some options. So you can do all accounts, there's active, inactive, and then if you want to see specific categories, you can click into those. So I'm going to leave um, all accounts open. You can also see the account type. So as I mentioned before, they're, they're all going to be grouped into specific types of accounts. So assets, cash, bank accounts, liability, equity, income, and expenses. And this is really important because this is how things show up um, on your reports and they have to be the right account type for things to show up on, the, on certain reports. Another thing to point out here is that Zoho Books will create a set of accounts for you um, and you can add to them or change them for the most part. There are some that are automatically created that you can't change and you'll notice that by the, the lock symbol here. So it says you cannot delete it, however you can change the details. So you might wanna rename it, um, but you can't actually get rid of it. So these are required to keep in Zoho Books and a lot of that has to do again with the reporting and making sure that you have at least the minimum number of counts um, to create those reports and to categorize your transactions, bare minimum. So on this page as well, you can create new accounts. If you wanted to create a new account, you can do that from this button here, clicking new account, and then it pops up with a window and you have to just fill in this little form. But first you'll select the account type um, and it'll be those categories basically that I mentioned before. There's gonna be assets, liabilities, equity, income, and expenses. So let's say I wanna make a new expense account. I would just select the expense option. I can name it. Um, whatever I'd like my new account to be. Maybe I wanna create an account just for auto expenses, so I'll name that auto. Um, you can make this a sub account, and we'll talk about what that looks like in another video. You can give it an account code, um, and if you read over this, it says it's a unique reference code for the account. Account numbers are really useful as your business grows. You're gonna have more and more accounts and these account numbers will help keep things organized and easier to find um, within your chart of accounts and as you're categorizing things. Uh, but as you're getting started, if you're not really familiar with it, I would probably recommend just leaving that alone for now um, and, and moving on. And then you can type in a description if you want. So if you wanted to find this account later and you weren't sure what it's for, you can put in a description here. So all expenses related to auto services and maintenance, maintenance, you can type in a description. Um, and then you can also select this add to the watch list on my dashboard. And this option will make it show up on your dashboard um, on this home tab here. Um, and then when you're done, you would just click save. And then you'll notice if I scroll down to my expense section, it shows up right here. So here's the account that I just created. If I click on it, it would show me all of the expenses that are here. Um, I just created it, so I don't actually have any expenses in here. Um, I'm gonna click on another one that does have expenses. You'll notice the transactions that are in here. And if you want to see more transactions, you can click this show more details button and it will give you um, all the all the details and you might have to change the dates to see everything that's categorized in this account. 
Um, and that is basically an overview of your chart of accounts. I'm going to do another video on how to configure the chart of accounts in case you ever want to change or make updates to them. Um, but this should give you a basic understanding of the charts of accounts. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.